the women's team last year was a fun one, and they were a young one. They were a young team, and I kept thinking to myself last year, I was going to really be excited about the young team being the older team, all those freshmen being sophomores, and now we're there, and, and it's, it's, it's looking really good. You know, last year's team got third in conference, and that was a pretty good accomplishment for how young we were. This year, I think we can do better, and I, I believe we will do better for sure. I, all those freshmen and sophomores, we've got a lot of experience. And we added some new, new ones to the program, which are looking really good, too. So things are looking really solid. We've got an incredible group of, of sophomores. Uh, there's no particular order of anything or anything for who I'm talking about. But uh, Tanya, uh, she is just my Zimbabwean warriors would like to refer to her as. She, she's feisty. Uh, she reminds me of like a, a, a future Serena Williams or something like that, just because she's so feisty and just loves the sport. She loves to grind. She loves her She loves her tennis. She loves working hard. I see her in the gym on her own. I see her doing all these things, which is just really cool for me to see as her head coach. Um, so expecting big things from her. Uh, going down, uh, no specific order. Um, Ashley Wine, she's, uh, she's a girl that, that strives for perfection. And she, I was joking with her the other day that she's going to be the best at whatever she does and whatever career she chooses one day. She's going to be uh, A-plus worker, um, mom, wife, whatever she's doing in her life. And, and she's a good tennis player, too. And I know that I can rely on her to jump in and play. Uh, and she's going to give it her all. And she's, she's not going to be happy when she's not doing her best uh, in all the right ways, of course. Um, Bailey, she, Bailey Askin, she's uh, voted captain by our teammates this year. Bailey is one of the most bright and happy people I've ever met in my entire life. Just, like, just, there's no other way to put it. And whether we're working out at 6 in the morning or running after practice, the girl's got a smile on her face, and she's doing whatever she's doing, 100% effort. So can't say enough about her. Hayden Hinsterling, she's just an outstanding young lady that does great at whatever she does. Uh, she, she loves Mississippi Gulf Coast, she loves tennis, she loves her teammates, and she's going to do great at whatever she does in her life. Uh, she works hard, she leads by example, and she's a great tennis player. She's gotten better too, and she had some great wins last year. She had to kind of step up in the lineup last year uh, with, when we had some injuries, and, and that grew her as a person, as a player, and that's going to pay off big time for her this year. And then Abby is our, another, our last sophomore uh, and also captain that we have this year. She, she's a leader. She's a leader. She leads by example. She works hard. Uh, she wants to play tennis all the time. She wants to win at her tennis matches all the time. And, and she, she's also doing it with such a great attitude. When she's not having her best day, uh, she's, she's pushing on. She's pushing through and striving to be better the next day or the next time she hits the ball. With the freshmen, uh, starting off with our other international player is, is Angela or Angie, as she likes to be called. She's from Spain, and, and the girl's got a, just a beast of a, a mindset on the tennis court. She's yelling. She's getting fired up. She gets pumped up so easily. And she's got a heck of, heck of a game. She's got a great forehand. She moves well at the net, and from, she's playing doubles. And, and I think her and Tanya has a doubles team, which is looking pretty promising or going to be, be tough to beat this year. They got to the finals at the region uh, A flight doubles tournament and did incredible. They lost in three sets and, and could have won that match super easy. So um, excited about Angie. Kendall Byrne is, is next uh, on my mind as far as our freshman. She's a, a local girl, and, and I'm so thankful that I was able to get her uh, with her being so close to home. I'm glad she didn't want to venture off because she would be a, a starter on any team she plays on. The girl works hard. She does what she's supposed to do uh, without any, any second thought. And whatever she's doing, she does it 100%, does it so well. So that girl's going to go far in her, her life. I think she wants to be a doctor, and uh, she'll be probably the best doctor in the country if uh, she keeps doing the things she's doing. So uh, excited to have her on the team. Um, Naya Strickland is my the next girl that pops into mind. Naya, <laughs> I was running with the girls one time, and Naya was almost beating me in our races, and actually probably did beat me. And I don't want to say it on camera, but I'll, I'll, I'll admit to it. The girl's fast. She's quick. She's got easy power. She hits the heck out of the tennis ball, and the girl works hard day in and day out uh, in the weight room and on the track and on the tennis court. Uh, and she's, she's just a happy young lady. I uh, love having her on the team. Uh, Gracie Crump is a girl that's been here for, she's a freshman that's been here for just a couple months, and I've seen massive improvement in just the short amount of time she's been here. She's working hard. She wants to get extra work after practice, and that's, that's the dream you know, for any coach. So uh, super happy to have Gracie. And, can't wait to see how she continues to progress. 
I think the conference will be tough. I mean, it was tough last year, you know, that I think we, there's no reason we can't compete to be the best in the conference this year. I think we've got the girls to do it. I think we've got the experience to do it. Uh, but it's, it's no easy road. Uh, everybody's, everybody's good, everybody can play, uh, but so can we, so I'm excited. Our men's team this year, I, I'm pumped up about. We've got a good mix of freshmen and sophomores, uh, which is gonna add some good experience and youth to the, to the team. I think it's gonna really help us in a lot of ways. I think the freshmen are gonna learn a lot from the sophomores, and the sophomores are gonna be able to lead. You know, these, these sophomores, I think, are hungry to, to win after getting runner-up last year at the conference and region tournament, which, you know, sometimes, you know, you can't win them all, and I think sometimes you gotta take the losses as, as ways to pump yourselves up for the next time you get to play, and I think that's what this team's gonna do. We're excited to play this year. Uh, we got an incredible group of young men, and uh, we're gonna be, we're gonna be strong, to say the least. So starting off with the sophomores, you know, I like to start out with the, the guys or girls that come out of the country. Uh, Paul Geik, he's from Germany, and, and Paul has just embraced being here, uh, working hard and in this new environment that he's so just done so well at you know off the bat and he's continuing to do it uh, he works hard every day he uh, his highlight I think for the whole time he's been here has been when he won the ITA regional tournament in singles and in doubles uh, just a few weeks ago and which qualified him for the ITA Cup in Rome Georgia a couple weeks ago and and he'd had a strong, strong performance, and he solidified himself, I think, as one of the best players in the country, just, uh, which, is, which is just really cool to say about a guy on your team. So Paul has, has done nothing but great things, and, and he's been a uh, voted captain this year, so uh, super cool for Paul. Um, Anderson is our next captain, and he's actually a third-year guy, which is really special, and it shows how much he, he loves the school, how much he loves the team, and he, he does nothing but great things. He's only gotten better since the first day I even saw him hit a tennis ball, and he's continued to do that. He solidified himself as one of the best in the, in the conference, and um, expecting only great things from Anderson this, this season, and excited to see where he goes afterwards, and whatever coach gets him next, it's gonna be super lucky. Kyle Bond uh, is next on my, on my list here. Kyle is, is a more quiet guy, but he's vicious on the court. He doesn't like to lose. He works hard. He embraces every opportunity he gets. He wants to be the guy that, that it comes down to in the last match. He wants, the, he wants to play that next match. He wants to hit that extra ball at practice. And that's just, that's just so cool to have, you know. And, and Kyle, like I said, is, is not going to be explosively loud on the court, but he's going to be explosive within the tennis ball, which is, is more important, of course. Um, Oren Ladner is a transfer sophomore this year. I am blessed to have Oren on the team. I've, I've loved the guy since the day I met him. And uh, Oren adds a lot of experience and, uh, and depth to the team this year. We're so thankful to have him on, uh, on our roster. Um, Oren's a guy that everybody loves, and he's also a guy that people don't like to play against because he's going to give you everything he's got, and he's also going to, to play really good. So uh, thankful to have Oren on the team and excited to see what he's going to do. Last but not least, Chase Bowen. He's probably one of the most <laughs> funny, hardworking, lovable guys that I've ever met, and I'm going to miss the heck out of that guy, but I, I know that we'll, we'll continue to stay close throughout our, our lives because he's just one of those guys that you just can't not love. Uh, Chase works hard. He doesn't want things given to him. He wants to go grab them. And, uh, you know, he leads so well every single day at practice and uh, expecting big things from Chase. Uh, so happy and blessed to know the guy and uh, thankful for, for him to be on this team. With the freshmen, we've got uh, our out-of-state guy, Owen Stice uh, is his name, and he's, he's one of the most talented guys that I know. He, he doesn't like to lose. He doesn't like to lose tennis points at practice, which is great. And uh, the guy is, is just feisty. You know, he, uh, he, he, I think a good thing to say about him, it's not about the size of the dog in the fight, it's about the size of the fight in the dog. And uh, <laughs> Owen is, is a heck of a player. Him and Paul won the ITA Regional in doubles. And him and Paul really proved themselves to be one of the best doubles teams in the country this year. Uh, there's no doubt about it, you know. And, and, and I've, I'm so thankful to have Owen on the team. And, and uh, the way he's going to continue to improve and just grow as a person, as a player, is going to be impressive over this year. Uh, Tristan Hill is the next guy that pops into mind. Uh, another local guy here that, that says yes, sir, to pretty much everything I, would, I could ever say to him and does, does whatever he needs to and he does it well. Whether we're working out, 
whether he's picking up the last ball at practice, whether he's running, whether he's doing his homework, uh, he's doing the best he can. And that's, that's so cool. You know, he's, he's a guy that, that wants to win, that wants to work hard, and that, that he knows things don't come easy, and he's ready for that. Uh, John Thomas Frank uh, from Eupora, Mississippi, is an outstanding young man. Big lefty, good serve, good forehand, moves well, is fit, and just an athletic specimen that, that's going to continue to, to, to grind and grow. He's grown so much in just a few months he's been here. Uh, so excited to have John Thomas here as a Bulldog. And uh, this big things coming from John Thomas this year. Outstanding young man, uh, does all the right things so well. I uh, can't say enough great things about him. Tucker Smith, local boy. Thankfully, we got all these awesome local guys on the team. Tucker is, is a guy I've known for a while now, and he's become one of my favorite people on planet Earth. Uh, whatever I tell him to do, he does it with, with a smile on his face, does it, does it well. And he's, he's only been here for a couple months on the team, just like a few of these other guys and girls. But the growth, not just as a tennis player, but as a person, growing in confidence uh, on and off the court, is something he's showing me, and it's just really cool to see. And I'm so thankful for, for Tucker and his hard work that he brings to the, to the program. Hiram Howard is, is last here, but certainly not least. Hiram is, is a beast, to say the least. I tell him all the time when we're in the weight room and he's cranking out pull-ups, he's doing like 50 of them in a row, it seems like, that, that Hiram, I want to be like you one day. Like I, he, he's, he's inspiring for me to see. He's, he works hard. He, he's fit. He's athletic. He hits the mess out of the tennis ball. Uh, you can put him against anybody at practice, anybody in a match, and he's going to he's going to give them give them a tough a tough challenge. Whether he's playing your top guy, your bottom guy, uh, he's out there to beat him, 100 uh, percent. You know, one of my big, I guess, um, motives uh, that I tell these guys is we play every single match like we're playing for the national championship. I think Hiram does that. He he does it mentally when he, whether he's playing um, a guy that he knows he can beat or a guy that know, he maybe should beat him. He's bringing it all and a big things coming from Hiram Harvard this year. Conference is going to be tough. You know, these guys, like I said earlier, uh, they came up, you know, a little bit shorter than they would have liked to last year, but I think that's just going to motivate them, motivate them to, to be even better and to just be hungry for it. Um, we've got a stiff competition in the state of Mississippi in our conference. Uh, no match comes easy, and uh, that's not going to be different this year. But I think we're ready for it. We want it to be tough. If it was easy, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be better from it. We want it to be a challenge. It's going to be a challenge. We're excited. Wesley Fontaine, can't say enough incredible things about Wesley. He was one of my first players here at Gulf Coast when I took over the program. And, and whenever he was a player, he was a leader. He was a hard worker. He was a, a guy that made, made people better um, that were around him. He's doing the same thing as an assistant coach. He makes me better. He makes our players better. He makes the program better. He works hard. Uh, what an asset he has. Uh, so thankful for, for Wesley and blessed to have him a uh, part of the t uh, program.